Hi, everybody. Good morning. Back to be glad to be with you um, again here today. We've got the Giants at the uh, Boston Doves today. Giants, as you can see right here, are one and a half games out of first place. A win here um, would get them off uh, on the right foot here now that it is May or April 28th. We're still in April. Man, this season uh, has gone by slowly. I filmed too many of these games. It's April 28th, and here's Roger Bresnahan. And uh, he starts just about every game, just like in real life. He rolls a 34 for a 44. Literally, he rolls a 51 out of range. It's a fly ball over there to Beaumont in center field for the first out. Vive Lindemann is the pitcher for the Boston Doves. That reminds me of Jim Lindemann, who has a different last name spelling of the 87 Cardinals. There's a little baseball trivia for you. Mike Donlin rolls a 15 for an 11 base hit and gets the stolen base. That brings up Spike Shannon. Shannon will swing away or bunt. I think we're going to have him bunt. And uh, we'll take off that no steal thing. All right, now the roll for uh, Shannon is a 22 for an 8. That was the right decision, and that ends up being a bunt back to Linda Mon, who makes the play, throws over to the second baseman, Richie, covering first. Two away, and here's Fred Tenney. Tenney up there rolls a 55 for a 8, and that's a fly ball over to right field. Bates has it for the out. We go to the bottom of the first. Claude Richie up there against Hooks Wiltsey, and he rolls a 23 for a 29. That's a little comebacker to Wiltsey. Throws over to first for the out. One away. Peaches Graham up there now, and he rolls a 12 for a 24. That's a ground ball over to shortstop Bridwell. Makes the play throws to first for the out two away. Johnny Bates now rolls a 13 for a 14, and there's a walk. That will bring up Ginger Beaumont, and he rolls a 36 for a 14, and he takes his base as well. Hooks is uh, having a little bit of trouble here. Hope that they didn't call him Hooks because he was hooked <laughs> a lot. Bill Dahlin, uh, Dahlin rolls a 65 for a 35. There's a little uh, E roll, and ooh, it's an 11. That's going to be on the third baseman, Devlin. And uh, his error allows one run to score and boom on to move to third as Bill Dahlin ends up at first base. one nothing Doves. Here comes Dan McGann now. Runners on at first and third with two outs. And uh, he rolls a 45 for a 14. That is walk number three given up by Hooks. And that'll bring up George Brown. Um, I think it's probably pronounced just Brown. He rolls a 16 for a 28, and that is going to be a ground ball over to a Bridwell, makes the play, flips it over to Doyle, covering second for the force out. We go to the top of the second. Boy, Boston had the bases loaded, and they scored a run without making a single hit. Here's Art Devlin. He rolls a 32 for a 26. It's a ground ball to Ritchie. Throws to first for the out, one away. Bridwell now rolls a 16 for a 26. Another grounder to Britchie. Throws to first, two gone. Here's Cy Seymour. He rolls a 35 for a 9. That's a base hit, and he is then caught stealing because of that little C. Bottom of the second in his Bills. Sweeney. Sweeney rolls a 53 for a 20. It's changed to 15. That's going to be a little fly ball over to Shannon in the left field for the first out. And here comes Vive Lindaman. I don't know anything about him. That's one of the joys of these replays. You can learn so much stuff. The roll is a 42 for a 13. And that's strike three to him. Two away, Claude Ritchie. He rolls a 55 for an 8. That's a little fly ball over to center field. Seymour has it for the out. Top of the third is Larry Doyle. Doyle rolls a 33 for a 0. Going double column here, and he rolls a 45 for a 6, and that's going to be a double for Doyle, and uh, puts him on second base here for the pitcher. Hooks with that 315 on base percentage. We might as well start him full time. What do you think? Look at this. He rolls a 66 for a 0. Whoops. Maybe I should put him in the outfield. Um, and the next roll is a 45 for a 6, and that's going to be a double, double score the runner. Here's Roger Bresnahan, who is leading off, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but, yeah, we're, we do lead off the catcher here in New York. It's a New York way. Bresnahan rolls a 26 for a 22, changes to a 21. That's a single to deep first. Bresnahan goes over to third base. He is hitting the lights out. 357 average coming to this game. And uh, I'm sorry, it's Donlin with the 357 average. How do I look at his? Well, whatever. I don't I don't know what I'm doing there. Donlin comes up, and he rolls an 11 for a 0. And then a 21 for a 6. And uh, there is a chance for the home run. And it's a 41. It's out of the range. That's going to be a double. Scores two and puts Dolan over at that second base. Three to one Giants as they've come alive. And here is Spike Shannon. He rolls a 51 for the nine. And that's a single that scores the run. But he is then caught trying to steal for the only the first out of the inning. Here is Fred Tenney. Tenney rolls a 52 for a 27. That's a ground ball over to third base. It is Sweeney who has it. Throws the first for the out. Two away. And here's Art Devlin. Devlin rolls a 65 for a 35. It's a foul ball over to McGann, the first baseman, for the out. We go to the bottom of the third. So the Giants have come alive here just like they did in yesterday's game in 1949. But, of course, yesterday's game was a little bit more um, exciting. Peaches Graham um, rolls a 43 for a 29. That's a ground ball over to Hooks. He makes the play, throws the first for the out, one away. Johnny Bates rolls a 65 for a 35. There's a little E roll. And this little E roll, let me actually roll the dice here. There we go. It's a 23 out of the range. That's a little pop foul over to Devlin on the third base side. Two away. 
Ginger Beaumont rolls a 46 for a 27. That's going to be a ground ball. Um, over to the uh, third baseman, Devlin has it, and he throws the first for the out. Al Bridwell, top of the fourth, rolls a 46 for a 13. That's a strikeout, one away, and it's Cy Seymour. Seymour rolls a 63 for a 31. Fly ball over to center fielder, Beaumont, two away, and it's Larry Doyle now. He rolls a 65 for a 35. That is a pop-up over to McGann, the first baseman. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Bill Dolan up there. No hits for Boston yet. Dolan rolls a 64 for a 22, and that's a ground ball over to the first baseman, Tenney. Flips it over to Wiltsey covering. First out, one away. Here's Dan McGann, and he rolls a 45 for a 14. That is walk number four given up. Hooks is just falling apart in terms of the strike zone. George Brown, this is going to be a base hit. Nope, it's a 25 for an eight. My apologies, not a seven. And that's a ground ball over to Devlin, the third baseman. Throws to first for the out. McGann moves to second. Bill Sweeney now with the runner in scoring position, and he rolls a 64 for a 29. That's another ground ball over to Tenney. Flips it over to Lindemann, covering a first for the out. We go to the top of the fifth. And it's Hooks Wilsey up there with the 111 average. He rolls a 26 for a 22, and that's going to be a ground ball over to first baseman McGann. Flips over to Lindemann. One away. Bresnahan now rolls a 15 for a 10, and there's a base hit for uh, Roger. Another hit for him in this game. That'll bring up Mike Donlin, who's two for two. Donlin uh, rolls a 36 for a 13 and strikes out. That'll bring up Spike Shannon, runner on first base still. And he rolls a 33 for an 8, and that's a base hit for him. Runners on the corners now for Fred Tenney. I don't think Lindemann's going to go much further than this. And, yeah, he rolls a 44 for a 7, and that's going to be a a single left field, and that scores 1. But then uh, the uh, runner, uh, Shannon, is thrown out at third base by um, uh, left fielder Brown. And so we do go to the bottom of the fifth inning. It's 5-1, to one, though, Giants, and Lindemann is going to come out of this game. And I know it seems early, but uh, we've got to do something. We're going to put Joe Kelly in this game. Joe Kelly probably should be starting more regularly, and I'll see if I can do something about that. Kelly comes up there, hitting uh, 333. He rolls a 45 for a 14 and walks against Wiltsey, who gives up his fifth walk. That puts up Quad Ritchie. Ritchie rolls a 23 for a 29. That's a comebacker to Wiltsey, who throws over, does it the hard way to Bridwell behind him at sec- covering second base, and that allows Ritchie to reach first. Here's Peaches Graham. Graham rolls a 32 for a 26. That's a little ground ball over to second baseman Doyle. Flips over to Bridwell, covering the bag at second. Two away, and here's Johnny Bates. And, who he rolls an 11 for a zero. It's going to be the first hit of the game for Boston. And it's going to be a 12 for an 11. So there's a base hit. Sends Grams to third. Bates then steals second. Five to one still. Runner on at second and third. Runners, I should say. And here's Ginger Beaumont, the uh, cleanup hitter. He rolls a 55 for an eight, but it's against a uh, a B. And that ends up being a fly ball over to Seymour, the uh, center fielder, who has it for the out. We go to the top of the six. And uh, who do we have here? Well... Let's see who we can put in. I'm gonna just going to take a ch- little quick look at the game started so I remember who is who. And, yeah, we're going to put in Jake Boltes. Jake Boltz. And he's going to be the uh, pinch, uh, the relief pitcher. I'm going to get all my terms confused here by the end of this replay. Art Devlin, he rolls a 43 for a 29. That's going to be a comebacker to Boltz, who throws the first for the out one away. And it's Bridwell, who rolls a 45 for a 14. That's just two balls off of Boltz. And the next one's a 45 again, another 14. So Bridwell takes his base one way or another. That brings up Cy Seymour. Seymour rolls a 62 for a 12. And uh, there is a little E roll, and it's a 56. It should be, and it is a double play. That's a ground ball over to the uh, shortstop, Dolan. Over to Richie for one, then back to McGann at first for the double play. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. It is still 5-1 to one, uh, Giants, and here comes uh, Bill Dolan. He rolls a 45 for a 14, and he takes the walk. Number six given up by Hooks. That puts up uh, Dan McGann, and he rolls a 31 for a 9. That's a little ground ball over to Devlin, the third baseman. Dolan moves up to second, and uh, there's one away for George Brown, who rolls a 24 for a 13. Strikeout number two for Wiltz. Two away, and it's Bill Sweeney. He rolls a 13 for a 14, and he will take his base. That brings up Jake Boltz, and uh, you do want to uh, definitely put in a, a pinch hitter. Jack Hannafin is going to be that pinch hitter. And Hannafin rolls a 45 for a 14 and takes his base. Man, eight walks given up by Hooks. I shouldn't call him Hooks. I should call him Wild Thing. Here is Claude Ritchie. And uh, Wild Thing up there has walked. The base is loaded a couple times in this game. And Ritchie rolls a 31 for a 9, and that's the wrong thing to do. That's a fly ball over to Shannon in left field for the out. Wild Thing still throwing that uh, one hitter, but um, he's coming close. He's coming closer than he should, and we're going to put Irv Young in there as the uh, relief pitcher here against uh, Larry Doyle, top of the seventh. Doyle rolls a 12-4-24. That's a ground ball simply over to Dolan, throws over to first for the out, one away. Hooks Wiltsey now 
rolls a 36 for a 13. That's a strikeout. Two away, and it's Roger Bresnahan. He rolls a 12 for 24. That's another ground ball over to Wadalin, who makes the play throws to first for the out. Go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Fast-paced game, as always. Um, this time it is Peaches Graham rolls a 22 for a 7. That's a single to right field. Only the second hit off of Hooks, and that'll bring up Johnny Bates. And he rolls a 13 for a 14. That is walk number 9 given up by Hooks. That'll bring up Ginger Beaumont. And he rolls a 12 for a 24, and that's a little ground ball over to the second baseman. Uh, Doyle flips the bird ball for one on to Tenney at first for the double. And uh, there's two outs now for Bill Dolan. Running around third base is Peaches Graham. He rolls a 44 for an eight, and there's another base hit. That'll score the runner. It's now 5-2. to two. The Giants have been dominant in this game, but they haven't scored those runs. 5-2 to two now for New York. And the batter now, Dan McGann, rolls a 22 for a seven, and that is a base hit. But unfortunately for... Uh, the uh, Dove, Seymour, has that three throwing rating. See that? And he makes the play over to third baseman Devlin for the force out. We go to the top of the eighth inning. It is still 5-2 to two Giants. Mike Donlin up there now rolls a 55 for a 7. That's a single against Irv Young. That will bring up Spike Shannon. Next roll, his roll is a 46 for a 29. It's a comebacker to Young, who goes over to Wadalin at second base for the force out. Tenney now, runner on first, one out. He rolls a 34 for a 44. If they didn't have the three-run lead, I probably would be hitting and running, and this is going to be a 12 for the little E part, and that means that is going to be an error on the first baseman. So uh, Dolan made the play throw, throw over to McGann, who dropped the ball, allowing Tenney to reach second and Shannon to reach third. And uh, now here comes our Devlin, and uh, it's a three-run lead. We were going to keep the infield back, but uh, Devlin rolls a 46 for a 27, and that's a ground ball over to the third baseman. Sweeney makes the play and throws to first for the out two away as McGann caught at that time. Here is Bridwell, and he rolls a 22 for a seven. There's a single, and that scores two, and Bridwell had, takes second on that throw. And uh, that'll bring up Cy Seymour. Seymour rolls a 24 for a 13. There's a strikeout. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. This game is over, baby. It's all over now, baby blue. And here's George Brown. He rolls a 52 for a 27. That's a ground ball over to Devlin. Third baseman has it, throws the first for the out, one away. Bill Sweeney rolls a 16 for a 26. That's a ground ball over to Doyle, second baseman for the second out. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put in uh, Jim Ball as the pinch hitter. And uh, Jim goes up there and rolls a 64 for a 29. And uh, that means we need another uh, relief pitcher here for the uh, – Doves, and this time it is going to be George Ferguson. Ferguson comes in here to uh, pitch to the top of the ninth inning, and uh, it'll be Larry Doyle uh, leading it off. He rolls a 23 for a 32. It's a fly ball over to right field, and uh, Bates has it for the out one away. Hooks Wiltsey, who has not pitched well, um, rolls a 42 for a 23, changed to a 38, and he walks and takes his base. How fitting. Roger Bresnahan now, and he rolls a 12 for a 24, and that's going to be a ground ball over to Dolan. Shortstop Dolan grabs it, flips to Richie for one, on to McGann at first for the double play. We go to the bottom of the ninth inning, and it will be Claude Richie to lead this off. He rolls a 43 for a 29. That's a comebacker to Wiltsy. Throws to first for the out one away. Peaches Graham now rolls a 44 for a 7, and that's base hit number 5 given up by Hooks. Five base hits given up and nine walks, and here is Bates, who rolls a 53 for a 15. That is going to be a hit by pitcher. And we'll see. We'll see if he can make it to the end. One out, runners on at first and second. And it's uh, Ginger Beaumont who rolls a 64 for a 29. That is a, a comebacker to Wiltsey who goes behind into Bridwell for one, back to first for the double play, and that does it. The number that counts here is 11. The Doves leave 11 men on base. I know you're going to tell me RBIs don't matter. Who cares about RBI men? I care about RBI men when we're leaving 11 men on base and we lose the game by five. Only five hits for the Doves in this one. Nine walks given up by Wiltsey. Hope you enjoyed this one, man. What a doozy this game was. Less than 15 minutes for you as well. That's the way we roll. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.